Almighty and ever-living God, I approach the sacrament of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. I come sick to the doctor of life, unclean to the fountain of mercy, blind to the regions of eternal light, and poor and needy to the Lord of heaven and earth. Lord, in your great generosity, heal my sickness, wash away my defilement, enlighten my blindness, enrich my poverty, and clothe my nakedness. May I receive the bread of angels, the King of kings, and the Lord of lords, with humble reverence, with the purity and faith, the repentance and love, and the determined purpose that will help to bring me to salvation. May I receive the sacrament of the Lord's body and blood and its reality and power. Kind God, may I receive the body of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, born from the womb of the Virgin Mary, and so be received into his mystical body and numbered among his members. Loving Father, as on my earthly pilgrimage, I now receive your beloved Son under the veil of a sacrament. May I one day see him face to face in glory, who lives and reigns with you forever. Amen. Amen. Please stand. Sa hapag ng Panginoon, umayan ngayon natitipon upang pasaluhan ang kaligtasan, handog na Diyos sa tanan. Upang pasaluhan ang kaligtasan, handog na Diyos sa tanan. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Jesus in the Gospel declares that we whose debts, had God for, whose debts God has forgiven are expected to be just as generous to others. By forgiving one another, we do what God does all the time for us. May the Lord touch our hearts, hardened by hurt and bitterness. Brothers and sisters, let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. 
Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. Let us pray. Look upon us, O God, Creator and Ruler of all things, and that we may feel the working of your mercy. Grant that we may serve you with all our heart, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The wise man Sirach teaches that an Israelite should forgive his neighbor's fault so that God would forgive him. A reading from the book of Sirach. Wrath and anger are hateful things, yet the sinner hugs them tight. The vengeful will suffer the Lord's vengeance, for he remembers their sins in detail. Forgive your neighbor's injustice, then when you pray, your own sins will be forgiven. Could anyone nourish anger against another, 
and expect healing from the Lord. Could anyone refuse mercy to another like himself? Can he seek pardon for his own sins? If one who is but flesh cherishes wrath, who will forgive his sins? Remember your last days, set enmity aside. Remember death and decay and cease from sin. Think of the commandments, hate not your neighbor. Remember the most high's covenant and overlook faults. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is kind and merciful, slow to anger and rich in compassion. The Lord is kind and merciful, slow to anger and rich in compassion. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. The Lord is kind and merciful, Slay to, slow to anger and rich in compassion. He, he pardons all your iniquities, heals your ills. He redeems your life from destruction, crowns you with kindness and compassion. The Lord is kind and merciful, slow to anger and rich in compassion. He will not always chide, nor does he keep his wrath forever. Not according to our sins does he deal with us, nor does he requite us according to our crimes. The Lord is kind and merciful, slow to anger and rich in compassion. For us the heavens are high above the earth, so surpassing is his kindness toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he put our transgressions from us. The Lord is kind and merciful, slow to anger and rich in compassion. Saint Paul reminds us of the Lordship of Jesus. None of us lives or dies as one own master. We are servants of one and the same Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, none of us live for oneself, and no one dies for oneself. For if we live, we live for the Lord. And if we die, we die for the Lord. So then, whether we live or die, we are the Lord's. For this is why Christ died and came to life, that he might be Lord of both the dead and the living. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia. We kain mo po nakikinig ako sa iyong mga salita. Alleluia. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Peter approached Jesus and asked him, Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive? As many as seven times? Jesus answered, I say to you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. That is why the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king 
who decided to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the accounting, a debtor was brought before him who, who owed him a huge amount. Since he had no way of paying it back, his master ordered him to be sold along with his wife, his children, and all his property in payment of the debt. At that the servant fell down, did him homage, and said, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back in full. Moved with compassion, the master of that servant let him go and forgave him the loan. When that servant had left, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a much smaller amount. He seized him and started to choke him, demanding, Pay back what you owe. Falling to his knees, his fellow servant begged him, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back. But he refused. Instead, he had the fellow servant put in prison until he paid back the debt. Now when his fellow servants saw what had happened, they were deeply disturbed and went to their master to report the whole affair. His master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you for your entire debt because you begged me to. Should you not have pity on your fellow servant as I had pity on you? Then in anger, his master handed him over to the torturers until he should pay back the whole debt. So will my heavenly Father do to you, unless each of you forgives your brother from your heart. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Si Simon Pedro ay isa sa mga disipulo o mga apostol ni ng ating Panginoong Yesu Kristo na sobrang impulsive kung minsan. Na kung minsan makikita natin na si Simon Pedro ay pabibo kay Yesus, no? gusto niyang magpasikat kay Yesus. Sa ating Ebanghelyo, sabi niya ngayon, Lord, how often must I forgive my brother if he sin against me? Ilang beses ko bang papatawarin ang isang kapatid kung siya ay nagkasala sa akin? Kung tatanungin ko kayo, Ilan nga bang beses natin pwedeng patawarin ang isang kapatid o isang kapwa kung sila ay nagkasala sa atin? Hindi nga ba noong bata ako, lagi kong naalala, sinasabi ni Papa, once is enough. Twice is too much. Thrice is dangerous. At pag fourth time na nakagawa kami ng kasalanan, ay tatakbo na kami o di kaya magtatago na kami kasi alam na namin may punishment ng nakahanda para sa amin, no? may belt, may stick, o di kaya hahabulin kami ng, ng pamalo or ano pa man. No? Sa Rabbinic Law or sa Law of the Prophets ay ganito din. Tatlong beses mo lang pwedeng patawarin ang isang kapatid kung siya ay nagkasala. Unang beses, sige patawarin mo. Pangalawang beses, bagbagaam. No? Pero patawarin mo pa rin. The third time, bigyan mo na siya ng warning. At kapag inulit pa niya ulit yung kasalanan na yan, ay ibilang mo na siyang hindi kapatid, ilaksid mo kung nadangarod di Ilocano. No? At itong si Peter, gusto niyong magpasikat kay Jesus. No? Alam niyang tatlong beses lang patawarin. Ayon na rin sa Rabbinic Law o di kaya sa Law of the Prophets. Sabi niya, Lord, seven times ba? Nag-exit siya ng another apat na, pa, apat na beses. But then si Jesus, mas competitive ang kanyang pagpapatawad kay Pedro. Ang sabi niya, hindi lang seven times kundi 70 times, 7 times. Siguro ang nasa isip-isip natin ngayon, si Lord siguro nakaregister sa anli patawad. Na kahit sa siguro anong, anong klaseng kasalanan natin, at kung paulit-ulit tayong nagkakasala, ay dahil nakaregister siya sa anli patawad, ay pwede niya tayong patawarin. In the Gospel, my dear friends, sinasabi ngayon ng ating Panginoong Yesu Kristo kung paano magpatawad because God gave an example kung paano magpatawad. Sa ating Ibanghelyo, may tatlong karakter. Yung kanilang amo at dalawang servant. Yung unang servant, ang laki-laki ng utang niya dito sa amo niyang ito. At ang plano ng kanyang amo ay ipagbili siya. Kasama ang kanyang pamilya, lahat ng kanyang ari-arian. Kasi nga, napakalaki ng kanyang utang. Pero sabi ng servant nito, nagmamakaawa, Lord, 
Have pity on me. Mababayaran ko din po ang utang ko sa inyo. At sobrang nahabag, sobrang naawa ang among ito at pinatawad lahat ng mga utang niya. Zero balance ulit. Pero itong servant na to, nakita niya yung kanyang kapaservant. At ang kanyang ginawa, he seized him, tortured him. Sinasabi niya, bayaran mo yung utang mo. Bayaran mo yung utang mo. At ang sabi ng servant na ito, sa kanyang kapwa servant, patawarin mo ako, mababayaran ko din ang utang ko sa iyo. Pero hindi siya nakinig. Nagmatigas siya. At hindi, hindi niya pinakinggan ang kanyang pagmamakaawa at tinorture siya hanggang bababayaran niya lahat ng mga utang niya sa kanya. At nalaman ito ng kanilang amo at ang kanilang amo, ano na lang kaya? Yung mararamdaman niya sa kanyang servant na kanyang pinatawad. Hindi nga ba gagawin din sa kanya ang ginawa niya sa kanyang fellow servant? Ganito din ang pagpapaliwanag ng ating Panginoon sa atin kung paano nga ba ang magpatawad. Lagi nating sinasabi o lagi nating dinadasal ang Our Father, the Lord's Prayer. At pagdating doon sa part na, Forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, forgive us our sins. As we forgive the those who sin against us, lagi nating dinadasal. Patawarin mo ang aming mga sala para ng pagpapatawad namin sa mga nagkakasala sa amin. Alam nyo ang greatest struggle o di kaya ultimate challenge ng ating pagiging katoliko na sumasunod sa ating Panginoong Yesu Kristo. Hindi yung mga problema ang ibibigay niya sa atin. Kasi lahat ng problema may solusyon. Hindi yung mga sakit na ibinibigay niya sa atin. Hindi yung mga pagkawala ng isang mahal sa buhay ang ultimate challenge sa atin. Ang ultimate challenge niya sa atin ay ang magpatawad. Hindi nga ba ang hirap magbigay ng patawad? Paano tayo papapatawarin ang taong nanira sa atin? Ang taong nananakit sa atin? Ang tao na sumira sa ating pamilya o di kaya yung pumatay sa isa sa mga sa mga kapatid natin o di kaya nang rape sa kapatid natin paano bibigyan ng pagpapatawad ang mga taong ganito na walang wala man lang konsensya sasabihin natin wala siyang kaluluwa at sasabihin natin hindi siya anak ng Diyos kundi anak siya ng demonyo paano tayo magbibigay ng pagpapatawad pero hindi nga ba kung minsan ang pagpapatawad ay ginagawa natin hindi para sa taong nagkasala sa atin, kundi para sa ating mga sarili. Kung marami tayong grudges sa ating kalooban, kung punong-puno tayo ng sama ng loob, hindi nga ba ito rin ay nakakasama sa atin? Mga grudges na nandito sa ating puso na hindi natin mabitaw-bitawan. Mayroon tayong sigurong mga sakit na diabetes, arthritis, hepatitis, ang daming titis pa na sakit. Pero isa sa mga malalang sakit, mga gradyatitis. Mga gradyas na nasa loob-loob natin na hindi natin na, 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 nakukuha kung ano ang lunas. At ang lunas lang ay yan kung mag go ka. At kung magpatawad ka, uulitin ko, hindi para dun sa nagkasala sa'yo, kundi firstly, para sa sarili natin. Hindi man nila deserve ang ating pagpapatawad sa laki ng kasalan ng nagawa siguro sa atin. Pero deserve din natin ang peace. Peace of mind. Hindi nga ba ang sarap matulog kung wala kang kagalit? Ang sarap matulog kung wala kang sama ng loob? Ang sarap matulog kung wala kang inaalala? We forgive for ourselves. At ito ang turo sa atin ngayon ng Ebanghelyo. Kung patatawarin tayo ng Diyos, naway patawarin din natin ang mga taong nagkasala sa atin sapagkat ganito rin ang gagawin niya sa kanyang kalangitan. Kung hindi tayo nagpatawad, hindi rin tayo patatawarin. Kung nagpatawad tayo, hindi nga ba, sabi ko nga kanina, <clears throat> naglelet go tayo, nawawala yung sama ng loob natin, at laging sinasabi forgive and forget. Pero kung minsan sinasabi natin, Father, I may forgive, but I will not forget. Madaling magpatawad pero hindi madaling kalimutan yung ginawa ng tao sa akin. Lalo na yung epekto, nasira ang pamilya, nasira ang yung, ang yung identity. But then the Lord in the last part of the gospel is telling us, Forgive your brother from your heart. 
hinihingi ta ngayon sa atin ng ating Panginoong Yesu Kristo at binibigyan pa rin niya tayo ng challenge. Paano nga ba ang magpatawad? Sinasabi nila, God is love. Oo, tama nga naman. God is love. At isang essential na requirement sa pagmamahal na ito ay ang magpatawad. Dahil kung nagmamahal ka, ikaw ay nagpapatawad, hindi lamang sa salita, kundi pati na rin sa ating puso. As I have my homily, I would like to share to you ang isang sinabi sa akin ng isang matalik na kaibigan. Ang sabi niya, When you forgive, you will be healed. And when you let go, you will grow. Amen. Please stand. I believe in God. The, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us humbly pray to the Father that having been forgiven, we in turn must forgive our brothers and sisters from our hearts. Full of trust, we say, Father, Come to the help of your people. Father, come to the help of your people. May the church, holy yet embracing sinners, always pursue the path of penance and renewal, we pray. Father, come to the help of your people. May government and military leaders seek first the way of dialogue instead of armed confrontation so that our people may live and work in an atmosphere of love and peace, we pray. Father, come to the help of your people. May the families of the victims of extrajudicial killings, kidnapping, terrorism, and sexual abuse obtain strength to rebuild their lives and find people who can help them trust in human goodness again, we pray. Father, Come to the help of your people. May all catechists be true witnesses to the gospel and ministers to the youth by reflecting in their words and actions God's love and mercy, we pray. Father, Father come, come to, to the, the help, help of your people. May our departed brothers and sisters be welcome to the kingdom of eternal life. We pray. Father, Father come, come to, to the, the help, help of your people. people. Let us pray for the gent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Father, come to the help of your people. Look upon our wounded selves, Lord. Change our hearts of stone to hearts filled with love. Renew our afflicted spirit with your peace. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Oh, 
Jesus' hand. Great brothers and sisters, that by sacrifice and yours, may be made acceptable to God for the power of life. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favor on our supplications, O Lord, and in your kindness accept these your servants' offerings, that what it has offered to the honor of your name may serve the salvation of all, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up their hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by His Spirit, He brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by His suffering, God sold out our sins. By His rising from the dead, He has opened the way to eternal life. And by ascending to you, O Father, He has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your grace, as without end we acclaim. The mystery of faith. Sa krus mo at pagkabuhay, kami tinubos mong tunay. Poong Yesus, naming mahal, iligtas mo kami tanan. Poong Yesus, naming mahal, Ngayon at nagpakailanman. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Ricardo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep, 
in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome back into the love of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be more earnest in eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command, and born by divine teaching, we dare to say,
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Easy stand. Let us pray. May the working of this heavenly gift, O Lord, we pray, take possession of our minds and bodies, so that its effects, and not for our own desires, may always prevail in us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for an announcement. We will now have the second basket collection for the construction of the Basilica of Our Lady of Fiat. Those who wish to give more may give your donations at the parish office. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow for the blessing. Turn your people to you with all their hearts, O Lord, we pray. For you protect even those who go astray. 
but when they serve you with undivided heart, you sustain them with still greater care. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Please kneel for the prayer before a crucifix. Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before your face I humbly kneel, and with burning soul pray and beseech you to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity through contrition for my sins and a firm purpose of amendment, while I contemplate with great love and tender pity your five most precious wounds pondering over them within me, and calling to mind the words that David, your prophet, said of you, my Jesus, they have pierced my hands and feet, they have numbered all my bones. Prayer to Our Lady of Piat. O Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat, I have recourse to you today. I do offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for past benefits and in the hope of receiving new blessings which you know I need in life. Zaino, dearest mother, to shower upon us all the blessings which we need most for body and soul, particularly. And a special grace to die in God's love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of God, pray, pray for, for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you.